But what kind of game director would I be if I didn't spill even more beans about what's coming next? Beans? Now, this is gonna be funny because we're gonna see the announcement in 40 minutes and let's see if this is real or not. Very much convinced this is real. Look at Sod. That's gonna be the skinniest timeline I have ever seen. Phase 5 in autumn. Now we're gonna be in winter. And phase 7 here. And it ends. So we get one new raid, perhaps, alongside Nax Ramas. And that's all we get. That's hilarious. I mean, it's not hilarious. It's not funny. Do you see me laughing? No, it's awful. Hey, everyone. Clay and I are so excited to be here today during this anniversary celebration to talk about what's coming up for WoW Classic. Okay, please give me something. Anything. Anything. We're looking forward to the AQ war effort unlocking very, very soon here, which will lead right into the launch of the Encourage raid. This will bring new changes and surprises that we can't wait to bring to you. Very good. What else? We previously announced we will progress through all the phases of the original classic era. So get ready not only for Naxxramas, but new instance content. Scarlet Monastery Raid? Scarlet Crusade, as well as adventures in Deadwind Oh, Pass. God, we're getting something. Now to Cataclysm. That's it? Mother I know you classic players out there must be curious where we're going next. But let's be honest, you know where we're going next. We do. BFA Classic. <laughs> I hate pandas. I hate pandas. I hate pandas. I hate pandas. We got one big one that is gonna come out today. I think there is still one big one here that we gotta look at. But we know. We spent some time on the internet and we've heard some of you out there you want something fresh. They saw I was mad. We are so pleased to announce that we are bringing you the classic, classic experience. All new fresh realms with the WoW Classic it 20th was real, anniversary see? edition. The leaks were real. And it's happening in your face, soon. I want her in your face. Actually soon. These realms will be going live next week on November 21st, but you won't have to rush to level 60. Classic is all about the journey after all as we've made a change and our first raid, Molten Core, won't unlock for a few weeks after launch. We'll be launching realms of all flavors, PVP, normal PVE, and for the very first time, Hardcore, which will progress through the phases in lockstep with the other two. This means a fresh start for everyone at the same time, together on a level playing field with fresh economies on very large realms. If you missed out on jumping into WoW Classic's initial launch Okay, so in there's no gimmick on Hardcore, nothing new on Hardcore. the perfect time to join our community. These servers will also launch with some of the quality of life features that came later on, like the Chrono Goon Displacer to save your world buffs, and the improved PvP honor ranking system. And yes, See? we're also pleased See? to announce it's that there. these realms it, it will real. progress to the in Burning your face, Crusade Classic. Hard. See? TBC Classic. Take that, Ewan Hard. Ha! Huh, who was the idiot now? I am not gonna let him get away with this. I'm gonna call him. Eon looks like Bellular now, bro. I cannot focus when he's staring into my soul. And speaking of home, the team does have one more thing to share with you. Okay, yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming. That's the tier two shoulders. Tier two shoulders. Thunder Fury. Yes. Yes. That's Onyxia. Yeah, I think it is. This is it. This is it. Okay. Okay. Oh, there you go. Please tell me it's not that much. Okay. Ah, man. God damn it, bro. You cannot do this to me. They already, an they already announced that expansion. We already know the name. Can we get a boo in chat? Okay, Classic Plus now. Classic Plus now. Oh, they are gonna get so ratioed. Oh, they are gonna get so ratioed, it's not even close. Okay, okay, What? what's this? What's this? Ah, uh, the orchestra thing. I'm not gonna play the orchestra thing, I, I am sorry. Thank you, that's a weird way of spelling f*** you. <laughs> I thought it said f*** you, didn't it? Oh my god. Okay, we got a lot to talk about, boys. We got a lot to talk about. I kept score. So, there is one W in the entire BlizzCon. And that's gonna be the Warcraft uh, remaster. I don't even think it's that great and I don't even care about it, but I think the Warcraft remaster is fine. I think it's cool. It's cool that people get to play Warcraft 2 and Warcraft 1 again. Uh, so, God bless that that guy, that, that the single guy that's making all of that. He's probably the, the only good thing about this BlizzCon. Warcraft Rumble. Nobody cares. 
Hearthstone, no expansion. This is the beginning of the Fortniteification of Hearthstone. What is a Fortniteification? Because I know people are going to ask me that. Uh, a Fortniteification. Uh, oh, thank you for the follow, Jay. A Fortniteification of a game is basically making the business model of Fortnite. What is the business model of Fortnite? Uh, taking a bunch of other intellectual properties that have nothing to do with the game and selling them as skins. Get ready because in two years we're going to see Batman or Superman or something like that in the camera. It's fine, I don't really care about Hearthstone, I don't even think the people that play Hearthstone are gonna care, but yeah, get ready for it, you're gonna see it. There is, okay, then we go from Hearthstone and Rumble to Classic WoW, of course. Season of Disco Discovery gets one raid at the end. They get one raid at the end, uh, two raids at the end, actually after Nax Ramas. We're getting Scarlet Monastery and we are getting <sighs> Caras and Crips. They are slapping them, as you can see in the timeline, which was the right timeline, by the way. It wasn't even a placeholder, it was the exact timeline we were expecting. So here it is once again. The timeline was exactly correct. So it's not even gonna be a phase eight. It's phase seven and it ends. So the copium we had from Ebon Hart the whole time, I am just so gonna call him and make fun of him right now, bro. You got no idea. Oh, it's gonna be so crazy. So phase seven, we're gonna get Nax Ramas raid, a new end game content, which is gonna be the Scarlet Monastery raid and Nax Ramas. I think Scarlet Monastery is, uh, and, sorry, Scarlet Monastery and Karas and Crips. One of the two is gonna be a dungeon. It's not even gonna be a raid. It is not gonna be even a raid. I think at best, Jamie, I think at best, we're gonna get one of these instances that is a raid. At best. Cataclysm Classic, they are gonna finish it as fast as possible, and then comes Mob Classic, and not much to say about that. I do not care for Mob Classic, I might play it at the launch, and then I'm not gonna care. This is the only thing that is kind of interesting. We are getting fresh. We are getting fresh era, we are getting fresh hardcore, and it is gonna last less than a year. I think, and this is something people have been proposing for a while, a supercharged, super fast launch for WoW. I think that's cool. I think it's fine. It's a shame they are killing Seasonal because of it. And it's also really, really dumb that they decided not to announce Classic Plus. They committed the same mistake they committed when they announced Diablo Immortal because the marketing team cannot learn a lesson for the life of them. They cannot learn a lesson to save their lives because Classic Plus's work is on the works. They are making it, okay? They are making Classic Plus. It's not that they don't know that it's coming. It is coming. They just chose not to show it because they think that not acknowledging it is going to be better for hype next year. That marketing decision is once again going to cost them dearly. I am fine with, with this. I am fine with Burning Crusade. And overall, I don't think it's going to be a terrible year, but it's going to be a crappy year. So we got like four, five more months of Sod, and then Sod is going to die. And then we're going to be playing Fresh Wow. I'm going to be playing Era. I am not going to be playing Hardcore. I do not give a damn about Hardcore. I am not going to play it. And yeah, I would say overall, this is very bad news. I still sustain it is not the worst year that Classic has ever had. What are you going to roll on Era? Probably a Warrior. Probably a Torrent Warrior. Perhaps a Shaman. So you can see why Sart was so sad when he, had, when he said what he said, you know? I feel bad for him because he knew all this time. No hit, Jerome just whispered me, we are cooked. Uh, I, I, uh, I, I feel like I just got run over by a car. I just don't understand why they just keep giving us the same exact game over and over again. And they haven't learned anything from Path of Exile, where it's like you make small changes. The things people like, you keep them. The things they don't like, you, you scrap them. I don't know. I don't want to be too negative, dude. I mean, I just, I just don't. I just wanted it to be 5% different than the last era. That's and what I, don't I wanted. Understand. Like, Season of Discovery 2, I would have been happy. I don't even want Classic Plus. I mean, it's fine if I get it, but I was fine with the Season I of just Discovery thought, model. Just don't understand how they add BFD and No More Gone Raids, and they don't put those in the Classic Fresh. Like, that's... Or any of the... Like, there's so many little things that, like, I don't want to have to go back and have... Like, the class design, the fact that you can't stack buffs. Like, I can't play... You can't have two Resto Druids in a Classic WoW Raid. What is that? Oh, they didn't remove the, the debuff limit for ERA. I think they are not going to remove it, right? That sucks. I mean, I, maybe they will, but there's I all these little things that are like, it's like, what what are we doing here? I don't want to go back to the, some of this stuff. I want to go back and I got a project. I'm going to pitch it to you tonight. Uh, like, I've been thinking about this for a while, but am I going to be like super excited to play ERA for a year? No. I mean, I, I'm going to play it. I like Vanilla WoW. I played Vanilla WoW for the years before Classic came out, but uh, come on, man. You could have done so much better, like, than that and you knew it this is the first time in my 
my career of like making content where I feel like I'm going to have huge gaps where there's nothing to make. And I don't know what I'm going to do about that. November 21st, we're getting sod phase six and we're getting classic era. So my assumption is they're basically going to put sod on ice for like three months. We're, you're never going to hear about sod again for three months. And then they're going to do this like last, they're going to revive it for phase seven as a sort of like happy, like look how good sod was. And they're going to give us all this new stuff. And then they're going to basically try to send us away feeling happy like we just got a churro but really like i think phase six will be pretty dead because they're gonna be people will be doing era right i think a lot of people are gonna skip two phases or they are gonna say i am skipping phases until karasan comes out and then they are not gonna come back because i've seen it happen before how many people said i'm gonna wait until level 60 and they never came back some had leveling boost and i know that's unpopular Saad had level bans. They've accepted the fact that the average player simply can't hit 60 within a month. Like, it takes forever. So the solution this time is not to make leveling faster. It's not to add leveling bans. It's just to add Molten Core, like, a month later. I don't, I don't see how that solves anything. I think Season of Discovery proved that people love pretending they care about leveling, but they really don't. Everything I see seems to be that Era is going to be exactly how it was back in 2019, which is completely illogical to me. I don't know. I just, I, I saw that. Oh we, oh, we got a blue post on Fresh Servers. This is, oh, this is where oh, they're going to tell oh. us what they're changing. Here we go. Okay, uh, do you want to read it? Because you, you speak English and I don't. Okay. As part of our ongoing Warcraft 30th anniversary celebration, we're excited to announce all new fresh WoW Classic Realms live November 21st, 2 p.m. PST. Wow. Realm sizes and rule sets. Nowadays, an individual WoW Classic Realm can hold many more players at a single time than ever before. For our new what, fresh anniversary realms, we're limiting the total number of realms to choose from to only one of each rule set. That's <gasps> interesting. Mega servers. Okay, that's cool. Mega servers. That's cool. I like that's that. That's cool. I don't believe they can hold up on the tech end, but okay. It'll give both new and returning it players the confidence in selecting a realm. It won't hold up in the, in the, in the first week, and then it's going to hold up. I think that's it. The first week, there's going to be horrible queues, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This will give, give both new and returning players confidence confidence in selecting a realm with their rule set of their choosing, knowing it'll be healthy and sustainable. They're going to open additional realms were given a rule set if needed to address player demand, but it's their intention to limit it to as few realms as possible. That's interesting. I mean, I like that. I like the mega servers because people, servers die. People transfer out of their servers anyway, so it's a lot better than it used to be. Are you, re are you ready to get to the good stuff? Oh yeah, Burning Crusade Classic, let's go. All right, we're particularly excited to reveal normal PvE and PvP fresh anniversary realms will progress to Burning Crusade Classic after the progressing through the Classic Era content phases. This will be our first visit back to the start of this beloved expansion since it launched in 2021. Oh boy, okay, our new hardcore anniversary realms will not progress to uh, TBC yes. Classic. Yes, our yes, How does that make sense? Hardcore, man. Well, TBC Hardcore was so bad. They already did it, and everybody died, like, to Fell Reavers and stuff. It's awful. It's, like, you the cannot even do a dungeon a without dying. Try, do, try doing the Steam Bolts. Try doing the Steam Bolts without a One single Steam person bolt. dying. Yeah. It's impossible. impossible. I don't think it's theoretically possible. Hardcore's always been focused on the classic 1-6 to six day journey, made truly viable and approachable thanks to Classic's original mechanics and difficulty. Burning Crusade brings a level of challenge and randomness that we feel doesn't fit Hardcore. Okay, the change. It makes it, they, it seem like they think hardcore players are bad. They said, oh, it, it's too challenging for them. If you are to take a hardcore, your average hardcore player, and that's not all of them because you got people like Sardako who are insane at the game, but like most hardcore people, you take them into a, like a raid with mechanics and they cannot do it. I'm probably in that boat. There are some alarming things at the bottom of this post, but I don't want to react to them yet. Are you ready for more? Yeah, yeah. Okay, no changes and changes philosophy. With WoW Classic Anniversary Realms, our goal is to preserve the spirit of what makes WoW Classic special. We're not strictly following a no changes policy for these anniversary realms, but our intention is to closely mirror the classic vanilla experience with minimal deviation from the 2019 version. Since the launch of WoW Classic in 2019, changes have occurred for reasons primarily focused on game health and game cohesion. These changes included reporting system improvements, dethroning system for transferring guild leadership, the addition of the Chrono Boon Displacer and allowing it to stack to 10, the improved PvP honor ranking system and graphics improvements. On the new anniversary realms, these changes will be in from the Start. Interesting. Okay. Nothing too crazy yet. Nothing interesting, really, on that. As Looking always, we we'll listen to player feedback. Oh, God. Spoiler. 
Oh God. User interface. In WoW Classic, players have used a variety of out-of-game tools and methods to group with other players. Given the limits of no limited number of anniversary realms per region, we expect all realms to have high populations. Although we applaud players' ingenuity to create tools outside the game to ease social connections, we recognize that not having similar functionality in the game has been a missed opportunity. Oh God. Okay, no, no, no. I don't think it's that bad. I think it's like LFG bulletin. Like the wording of it implies that it's like LFG bulletin board like they're even making chat channels so it can be a little more organized i do not hate that if that's the case to support group play we're introducing a looking for group tool that'll allow players to create join and browse parties manually we're also adding a services chat channel that players can enable for advertising services like portals summons and tribute buffs oh, all such is... advertising must be posted there and players chat for this kind of uh these kinds placed elsewhere are subject to player reports and action taken by blizzard okay you know what i think that's fine because like all the bots were clogging up the the looking for group channels anyway so okay I... but can i ask a serious question why why is that the vision of classic that we have to put up with why are there portal summoners i mean why are there why are there summoners in the portal first place like, it ruins are classic. Awesome, bro no, i haven't not. walked to a they, city they in years small and weird what i haven't say? i haven't taken a flight path in a year I don't even know what Mulder okay, looks like. Is that good for the game? Is that a logical thing to like be like, okay, it's we're going to leave me. this in. They have the option. It's good for me. So they're saying, hey, we love that summoning bots exist. We're just going to try to make them be like, push them out of sight. Like, why well, is that a I thing? I think that the reasoning is that bots are going to exist no matter what, but they really don't want the bots to ruin uh, global chat. Because right now, if you do not have LFG bulletin board, global chat is unusable. Like world chat, looking for group chat, it is literally unusable if you do not have an add-on right now because of all the spam. So they are trying to fix that, I bet. I just don't understand why they wouldn't get rid of the summoning bots and make the game feel nice again. I think I don't want almost to get everybody anymore. uses summoning bots. I don't think people want them away. I, I do, but I'm saying like, if you have to make the choice between getting rid of them or shoving them out of the way, why not just get rid of them? They have the power. I got no strong feelings either way. Whatever. Okay, he doesn't care. For those who enjoy the look and feel of Classic's Guild UI, we've implemented an option for players to choose between the original classic guild UI and the newer guild UI. We're also making plans to bring these updates to all classic era realms and appreciate your thoughts and feedback. So they just confirmed that there will be classic era realms. They so did, there's going to be people playing on Knack. They're going to be playing on Knacks while we're doing fresh. No, so the player base is even more split. I mean, I don't think people are going to are gonna play uh, era as much if they get fresh era because they have been clamoring for fresh era for a while. I mean, some of them have to mean it. A couple of them probably mean that they actually want it, not just clamoring for it like the Warcraft 4 people. I I think like 8,000 people want Classic Fresh. That's my my legitimate number. Yeah, you are not exactly wrong. I think it's going to be smaller than so, that's for sure. Bro, there's like 17 more things left. Okay, Hardcore Rules and Progression. For the first time ever, new Anniversary Hardcore Realms will progress through the Classic Era phases of content. This means when MC unlocks a normal and PvP realms, it'll unlock on new Hardcore Realms at the same time. We look forward to seeing how players prepare to take on the content as it unlocks with each phase. Please note PvP Battlegrounds and Battlemasters still disabled and will not unlock. Okay, we expect all else to remain the same. Paladins will not be able to bubble hearth, shamans reincarnation, soul stones won't work, duel to the death back on the menu, buffs and debuffs limits removed, and you can create self-found characters right from the start without being able to trade. Okay. This is their pitch, is that, oh, you can progress? Fresh is a trap, don't, but it has worked all... for a decade, so I don't think Fresh is going to go away. Fresh works. Uh, people play it when it's fresh, so, I mean, they would be stupid if they didn't do Fresh every so Does often. Does it work? It worked in 2019. I have not, not actually seen it work well, since. Well, uh, Jerome, you, you come from Dark Souls. You didn't actually play private servers before Classic, right? No. Okay, I come from the vanilla private yeah, server I mean, scene. Yeah. Like, people would literally quit, uh, like, four months into one server because another server was fresh. People like fresh to their detriment, and Blizzard knows it. Okay, but could, I, could you make an argument that making this a one-year timeline that goes into TBC doesn't actually give them what they really want, which is a fresh every four months? It's better. It's closer. Better? What is this positive Medina? You decided I was too negative and now you're going positive. No, it's not like, I got the Blizzard that. sponsorship like, on I am, speed I am as mad as you are about them killing Sod. It's just like, I don't think the fresh era is a bad idea. I am happy for fresh era. I am just like, why can't we have both? That's why. That's what I'm mad about. Two games at the same time when it's technically mostly the same player base. Yeah, I think that's it. You know, like they pay the same amount of same sub and they play both. That's less yeah. my 
money yeah. for the Bobby. All right. So Molten Core and Onyxia, on New Realms, we want to encourage as many players as possible to level characters and feel safe doing it in their own time. WoW Classic really is all about the journey. To support this, we're making a deliberate change to delay MC and Onyxia by a few weeks. Opening December 12th. Okay. So wait. November 21st to December 12th. How many days is that? Uh, 12 is like 21 days. 21 days. days. I would bet under half of the population in 2019 was 60 by, by in 21 days. It was probably less than 30%. 300,000 for a fresh era to level 60 will still be insane. I mean, I don't think it's going to be that high. That would be a roaring success. That would be a stop the presses. We got to do, do this again success. Like not even close. I don't think it's going to be even that much. If it is that much, I'm, I'm going to be surprised. On the new anniversary realms, transfers will be unavailable except for transfers to a normal realm for hardcore characters. Normal realm characters must re remain on normal realms. <gasps> okay, and wait, PvP wait, wait. realm characters. They didn't say that in the in the direct. Are they stupid? That's like the best feature ever. That's what people wanted. What does that mean? I don't understand. That you, if you die on hardcore, you go to normal realms. Why didn't they put it on direct? Are they dumb? I thought I, they canceled it. Because it doesn't it. look like it's free. Because it doesn't say that it's free. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, I think you're right. That's the way they would, oh my they god, I think you're free. right. <laughs> the word free Please is not in man. there. Where is the word free? <laughs> I believe you. you. You know what? You know what? Uh, it's so messed up. I believe you. I, mean, I believe you. If the word free was in there, it would be in there, right? I couldn't breathe. Ah, I couldn't breathe. It's possible it'll be free though. I mean, I don't, I don't see why they wouldn't make it free. That would be crazy. It would be too crazy for them not to make it free. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. On hardcore realms, should players wish to transfer to either dead or living characters to a normal realm, they will be able to do so. Okay, that kind of implies there is no barrier i don't know maybe it's kind of that would be so insane if they charge you money for it that would be so insane i hope they charge us that would be I so would insane pay every time you spend 150 hours on a character and you gotta pay to save it like you would be stupid if you didn't that's okay. why it's so messed up they know people would pay so messed up i think it Hardcore. should it should scale on how high your level is so if you're level 60 it should be 60 dollars uh -oh. level one one dollar don't listen to him blizzard please can i interrupt how are they going to do enforced faction bounds if there's one server uh, they are going to shut okay, down one sod. faction so if you do not make your character on day one you're screwed so you're gonna want to play with your friends but you won't be able to because it'll be exactly. temporarily blocked it, it's the stupidest uh, thing ever always always well received in sod we implemented enforced faction balance in all pvp realms meaning that the population of horde and alliance was almost perfectly balanced if the faction balance ever starts to lean too far in one direction or the other character creation is temporarily paused and balance is restored the results have been overwhelmingly successful and feedback has been positive therefore we're going to do that on the anniversary rounds yeah it turns out that if you kill all the people that do something you don't like there is no more people doing it huh if you do not allow people to create characters on the other faction like of course it's gonna be overwhelmingly successful that you're not gonna get other faction so messed up though i don't know there's gonna be a i don't there's gonna be a better solution i don't see how we're gonna get 50 50 if we all know how the game works right like as we all know 2019 classic horde have a massive advantage in pvp alliance have an insane advantage in raiding that's just i don't see how that's ever going to change i mean in Sol it was alliance the dominant faction that was kind of crazy that's because they changed the class balance though right yeah i mean i think now it is horde favored but like the very early phases it was all alliance which was crazy i think it was Asmongold. on private servers what was always the dominant Bro. faction in private Private servers because uh, that'll be what it is whatever it is alliance probably but that was because back in era like you know like paladins are like so busted it was always well, alliance yeah i mean i'm gonna play gonna I, it's crazy how asmongold is single-handedly keeping the alliance alive <laughs> if he doesn't play era we're screwed i'm gonna i'm gonna join him gdkp policy in line with oh. our policy enacted on sod no gdkps on na in europe but apparently maybe in china policy will not be implemented in regions outside of north america and Europe. While we understand there are benefits to those who find this convenient way to gain gear, we recognize there are concerns around GDKP eroding guild and social structures. Player feedback has been largely positive about this change and aligns with our internal findings. We'll continue to monitor feedback about this topic closely, and we may make adjustments in the future. We're excited to see you November 21st at 2 p.m. PST. Love, Blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think like I came out of this looking, uh, this came out looking a lot better 
after the article than before the why didn't they say that you could transfer from hardcore to era in the announcement like that's so dumb that's like the main thing that's the main new thing and it's a great thing why didn't they why wouldn't they say it are they dumb are they dumb i don't think they know what people really are care about or passionate about like i don't know these this article is much better than what they announced and why did they say deadwind pass instead of karazan crips that was weird too what there's no deadwind pass raid that wouldn't be a thing so that makes me think it's some kind of weird deadwind pass dungeon or something that would be so dumb or like weird world event the budget ran out right before karazan crips it would uh I don't know. Like, I was hoping that they would do that. And, like, I took it as raids because I, you know, I think optimistically. But, like, if it's not raids, it's definitely going to suck. Like, a lot of people are going to be pissed if it's not. With the combination, putting out Phase 6 and uh, the fresh servers in the same exact date, do you think Phase 6 is just, like, a lost phase and everyone's going to skip it and then we go back for Phase 7? Like, what do we do? I'm super worried about that. Luckily, no one in my guild told me they're quitting yet. But I I think it's too many WoWs and we're already spread thin. Like, I think that is the biggest problem in Classic is having everyone, like, there's only so many people playing Classic and having people get hyped for Firelands coming out aq coming out and then on top having fresh having hardcore and it's just it's just too much and i think it's gonna be not very good we are really diluted that's 100 true and it even creates tribalism and i am part of this uh like i admit to it but like every time something that you don't like happens to your game you feel that it happens because it's going to some to a different version of the game so like it creates like not the nicest interaction because it actually is that is the the real reality though you're not just imagining it that is the case them putting out a fresh server the same day as Sod absolutely impacts Sod negatively, and they know it, and everybody knows it. That's just how it is. So, Carjo, I didn't get to talk to you the other day because you were raiding, but uh, you saw the leaks before it came out, right? Like the roadmap leak. Yeah, I saw it this morning. I was, I told, I said, there's no way they're gonna release it all at once. Like having it all come out that quickly and then do it, but it looks like they're doing it. So, phase six is done. Like the same day as Fresh Era, they're doing fre- phase six. Come on, man. Like, we're not stupid. We know what that means. Well, I mean, AQ doesn't open for two more weeks, right? So we still That's have. So AQ really opens on December 6th. So technically, you could make it work, I guess. Like, they're trying to let you. So you could, you could like, hit 60 in Era and then do phase, phase six for a couple weeks, I guess. What's really troubling about that? <laughs> Is they said they're delaying Oni and MC for two weeks. So now that like era rating is gonna be at this uh I, oh, I don't, they it, said a couple I, weeks. I, I didn't see it's a three week delay. Let me look we at this. We, we, yeah. we just looked at it. Oh, okay. The three week delay. Three weeks. See, that was my next twenty one days. Is, yes, like, that's days. gonna line up with AQ. Yeah, that, that seems very good delivered. It is. Like there is no way that's an accident. Like Okay, so December twelfth is the date. So you could do sod phase six the raid and then December twelfth do MC Ani. Wouldn't be impossible. Still doing MC Ani on Sod, so <laughs> not much changed. How do you feel about this? I'm not trying to be super negative, but I just did MC. I just did Ani. I just did BWL. We're just doing it again. I just don't know where to go, honestly. That's my biggest thing. Like I hope my saviors and my guild and everything I've been working with days and we can continue doing sod content but if everyone goes i can't blame them for wanting to do the new stuff but like i just i can't even decide where i want to go like they're giving us so many options and i obviously have the luxury of being able to play as much as i want but many people do not have that and it's definitely gonna i think all of them are just gonna get negatively impacted by being spread between three different ways to play the game they were saying that this was like a way to consolidate the player base but they're just killing season and making a new season at least that really eventually leads to them killing era I am very concerned that there's nothing saying about Terra staying. What if they just shut down Terra? Huh? Do, would you put it past them? I don't want to be negative, but they kind of don't they have to eventually? Like, Era exists as, like, the light at the end of the tunnel, where it's like, well, once you finish all this progression, you get to have something where your character can go to. But I don't know. I don't know why it exists, really. I mean, it, it should. I don't know. Some people like it. I can't complain about it. I don't know. I, I, I literally have watched Mount Valley raid an era every day for two years straight. So I don't want to throw stones at somebody that's enjoying it. But 
I definitely just kind of assumed that they would close Era with the 20th anniversary realms coming because other than Sal Dally, I don't really know anyone else that like plays that that religiously and sticks Lord with it. Lord. But yeah, but like once again, it's just gonna it, it'll be weird if people choose to not go to the fresh ones and they sit there and play Era. It's just another thing so that weird, people are gonna right? be they, dispersed. We're gonna have a split player base with some people doing Era because there's no GDKPs in this fresh progression. So it's almost like they're giving... That's an angle I hadn't thought of. It's like Era now becomes the GDKP place to go. If you want a GDKP, there only is one place in Classic to do it. Or Kata, I guess, but... Yeah. No, I I like the GDKP being gone. It's just been too much gold buying and corruption, personally. I know that yeah. a lot of people are going to disagree with that. But, like, GDKP is my... It would be a great method if they could get the bodying, they could get the gold buying under control, but they just can't do it. So I guess it's, like, the best compromise we have is to just flat outright ban it. I said this before, and, like, I've stayed very consistent on my take on GDKPs. My problem with GDKPs is not that they are bad. I think they are too good. I think if you are being objective, uh, it is better than raiding in a guild. So I think either owes the social fabric of WoW over time because it is more efficient to do a GDKP than to be in a guild. And that's what I don't like about GDKP. It's not that they are bad or the gold buying or anything. I just think they are too good, like the opposite, you know? They are too overpowered, yeah. so to speak. It also gives no one a reason to be in like a traditional guild with a council yep. and stuff and everyone can just buy gold and or have gold, use their gold for whatever they want to do. I think people are going to love some changes once they get to raiding in era because they're going to realize it's 40 people and you're getting two to three pieces of loot and it's going to be brutal, especially if that timeline that they showed is as fast as it is. Like people are still going to be needing MC gear when they're in AQ. Yeah, can you imagine there like being a warrior? I am going to get no gear. The 40 mans that almost zero players that I know ever actually did 40 man raids. You're almost always doing a 35 man raid because you can never find those last shamans. You can never find 40 people. It's impossible to find them. And then there's the fact that the guilds that raid the first week, three weeks in where most people aren't level 60, they're getting Onslaught Girdle. They're getting Bone Reaver's Edges that are bis for the entirety of the game that some people never see. And they're getting a huge advantage. They're split raiding because they've leveled two characters during the three weeks yep they're getting double the loot it's impossible to compete it's just i sorry i'm just like we got 20 men molten core and it still has double the loot every boss and like compare that Guess to what people going are back gonna to do era. the three week change means you're just gonna level two characters that's gonna be the meta for the top players level two characters uh split rating so has always been a thing rate. in classic it's just lame the loot per boss is so low right you're gonna get like one it's item nothing. a week if that if you're lucky if you're lucky you're getting if you're a warrior i don't think you will on average you're probably gonna element get of like you can't put the cat back in the bag are they just are they giving us a failed era just to show us that that's not what we want are they like punishing us because like people that, are gonna be like hey we're not getting any loot we're not getting any loot that would be pretty uh I mean, that's diabolical, but, you know, if they want Classic Plus and want everyone to hate Era and everything else, it's definitely one way to go about it. Yeah, you know, like, uh, that's one of the things. It's like certain government programs that do not work, but people will never allow to take down. Like, uh, it was evident to Blizzard when LFR came out that LFR was a big mistake, but they will never be able to take it away anymore, you know? I think it's going to be one of those things. You're going to take the changes away and, uh, like, people want them. That's going to cost them. I I kind of hope that they don't give us instant mail just so everyone suffers and is like, I hate this so much. <laughs> like, yeah, I think when I know it's a little diabolical to say, but it, it'll make people realize how much like they, like the potential of classic with having seen sod and seen how much they hate with era. Well, to be honest, I, I this is the first time I see a large patch where nothing's going to be happening. I don't think Mop, I, as much as people are saying they love it, I don't think it'll have numbers bigger than Wrath. There's no way. It will be bigger than Kata, but it will not be even half of Wrath, I think. I can't make a Kata video on my channel or it kills my channel. Like, There's 30,000 people like, that I, play. Like, if you... Uh... You know how much I want to make Kata videos? You know how fun they would be to make? I would love making Kata videos. Jerome, if 100%, if every single person that played Kata Clisson last week watches your video, that's a 30,000 view video. That's not even <laughs> yeah, a viral video. The entire population. No it's not even a viral video. <laughs> like uh, exactly, make a viral would be ten thousand views. That's the most. If you viral made it mandatory to log into Cataclysm by watching your video, <laughs> you would still not break thirty thousand views, Jerome. <laughs> <laughs> God, <laughs> we're so cooked. 
So, okay, here's my closing question. Are you hopeful for 2025 as an entire year classic WoW? Or will you start considering moving somewhere else for the year? Does he want to answer first? Because I, you got I, it, you got I, it. Okay, I, I don't believe I have the ability to switch games right now, but I will start beginning to work towards that ability to transcend games because I don't believe that they are making what the mass appeal the mass market wants anymore they're making niche things for people that already play the game and that's not an appealing place to be but i will still enjoy it as much as i can uh while while it's here i tend to agree with that i would say that i do not think it's gonna be like a, a that case of wow which was something i was feeding this is something i can kind of live with and this is something i can play but i am gonna start it's making content on other games depression. i'm gonna start make, trying to pivot somewhere else too I don't know, like, we, it's a long way until Classic Plus. At best, we're getting it in the middle 2026 or the, la, or November 2025. It's, I don't know, it's gonna, there's gonna be some really slow months we're gonna have to work to. Yeah, I mean, my first thought is like all speculation videos are just done. We can't think or be hopeful for the future. And I'm kind of feeling a little crushed right now as someone who's really hopeful most you. of the time. I know, well, like that and all the comments flying in like to me i was thinking phase eight we're getting two new raids and then like everyone's like bro you're crazy that you think that and it could just be two dungeons and it could just be nax adjacent and a lot of those things to serious consider like i just gave my straight raw opinion and what i thought and what it sounded like and obviously i'm usually quite hopeful about it all and it's just kind of really defeating i don't necessarily like a lot of people want to do era and i've been asked a bunch from my guildies and all the communities i'm involved in like are we doing era what are you doing what's your plan and i really don't know there's just a bunch of choices and options and i don't necessarily know if i'd really enjoy doing it and i'll just have to see a lot to think about in the next coming weeks don't let us drag you into the depths okay never let that happen no one can take your joy well guys thank you so much for coming and i will tell you i'm gonna be calling you maybe tonight maybe tomorrow i gotta i gotta do some stuff but i, I got something planned okay i got something planned it's gonna take us somewhere i i got a bit of a project for era i think it's gonna be a good idea to pass the time and thank All you right, for chat for fun. coming and i don't know i like dooming but let's try to be some hope a little hopeful okay i think we can fix hope. this uh, i think we can get something to go yeah i'm probably not gonna play so in the in the near future i'm sorry guys i don't know what to say i got a lot to think see you guys